The Devil in Daniel Webster is a special addition to the tradition of American myth. Its characters are bigger than life, the biggest being Mr. Scratch, the devil himself, impishly played by Walter Houston. The settings, the landscape, and the characters themselves are planted deep in the stories of early America. You know the story, a man sells his soul to the devil in return for riches, but in this case, when the time comes to pay up, it's American folk hero Daniel Dictionary Webster who stands in and defends the foolish man against a spectral jury of American rogues. Yet for all the loudness of the legend, when it comes to the fantastic, the film plays things incredibly low-key. The special effects employed are brilliantly nonchalant, from the flashing calling card to the appearance of the gold. The most startling effect is this burning hatchet whose execution is a marvelous feat of imagination. But mostly, things have a very quiet eeriness about them. You're not Dorothy. Nope, she's gone. She couldn't be gone. But she is. Of course, Bernard Herrmann's music is largely to thank for this. His bizarre, atmospheric music during Simone Simon's entrance, or the ghastly guests at Jabez's house party, punctuated by the tax collector's chilling musing on his impending doom, are arresting in the best tradition of classic ghost stories. What's the matter with you? You look so... Aren't you afraid? Afraid of what? Of what happens after we die. Are you plumb crazy, man? What do you think happens? You're buried, that's all. But what becomes of our souls? Well, why are you afraid about something that isn't there? Don't say that. I know it is. I found out. The score sometimes turns traditional folk melodies into twisted, sinister versions of themselves. That music, by the way, won Herman his only Oscar, and considering his career's output, one should be baffled. It's the sort of thing we might term folk horror these days, but that's just a part of this often beautifully pastoral film. The performances are charming and full of life, especially Jane Darwell as Ma. It's the perfect movie for autumn nights as the air has begun to chill and the apple orchards smell of new-mown hay, a fitting addition to the canon of American legends.